Hello, hello. Tutorial is starting in just a few minutes. So I'm just sending off the email that I will start my tutorial. So let's and wait until some of you come in to practice with me today. Today we are going to learn Bella Ciao. But let's talk more about it later. Because I need to send all of you an email first. So everybody knows that, that we are actually doing this right now. And if you already came in, please let me know where you are joining us from. And, and get your right in so you can join our lesson. For those who are dropping in right now, we are starting our lesson in only a few minutes. I'm just sending off the email to everybody who is a member of our website to make sure that everybody knows this is taking place. And today we will learn the Peach Bella Ciao. Do you know it? If you know it, we are going to learn that on the violin. Of course you are also about to sing if you would like to. And please let me know where are you joining us from. I'm just posting the sheet music in the chat in a moment. Just sharing, sharing the links with everybody so everybody has a chance to join and get their violin to join us. If you don't have your violin yet, get it right now. This video, you can't watch it without the violin. It will be, it's not allowed. <laughs> you have to practice. Now you are here anyway. I mean, what could you do better than practice? Probably you were only scrolling through YouTube anyway, if you're here this early or through your email. So there's no excuse not to practice right now. And it will only take like 15 minutes maybe to learn the song. It's not very difficult. So I think you will really get to enjoy it. Okay, welcome everybody who is new, we are going to learn Bella Ciao in any moment right now. I'm just sending off the last emails so that other people will know that I'm here. And here's the sheet music. You can download it here in the chat. I just posted the sheet music in the chat. So if you would like to get the sheet music, make sure to go in the chat right now and click on that link. And there you will get taken to the sheet music right away. And where are you from? If you're here right now, please let me know. Where are you joining this lesson from? I see Priyanka is joining us today, Sandy, Armino, Armin. Sophia, Deepen, Vinod, hi, welcome everybody. Where are you from? We're just taking a few minutes to see if there's anybody else who still would like to join or for everybody to get their violin because we are going to learn together and to download the sheet music. I posted it in the chat. Welcome Caroline from Germany and Jan from Czech Republic. And Dan Nephew from California. Welcome Dan and Roxana. I see some people I know already from other lessons and also some new people. So welcome to everybody who is here first time on the first live class. Welcome Joanna from Pennsylvania. And Sophia from Oklahoma. So nice that all of us are from so far away. I'm in the Netherlands, by the way. For those of you who weren't aware already, because I have a very clear Dutch accent, but Pennsylvania, very nice. Okay, does everybody have the sheet music? You can find it in the chat. Of course, you can also learn it by heart right now. You don't, you don't have to learn it with the sheet music. It, uh, well, I did add easy violin tips for those who can't read sheet music yet. So you can also just see the strings and the finger numbers. And also welcome Betty. 
from Mexico and Naruto from Florida and Dead Shoto from Nagaland. What's Nagaland? Nagaland? Is that a country? I didn't hear of it before. But I heard a lot of people say that about the Netherlands. So I can't imagine that it's just something I don't know. A lot of people that that I tell like I'm from the Netherlands, they're like, oh, that's a part of Germany, right? <laughs> or like they're not sure they, they don't need, know that it is actually a legit country, which makes sense because the country is so small. So okay, so I think we will just get started in a moment. So first of all, let's tune our violin. Welcome Zion from India and that cello. Wow, amazing. From India, it must be so late at your place at the moment. Welcome Bill as well. Okay, I'm just going to tune my violin. It's time to tune your violin as well. Here's the A. On the website violinspiration.com, a free tuner, thanks to one of the persons in this chat actually. Armin Notes Towers, he is in this chat. Armin has been helping me with creating a beautiful free online violin tuner. So I will be letting you know very soon about it if it is completely done. Actually, the tuner is done, but I need to add an explanation for how to make use of it. But it will be a very useful tuner for. Tune the violin online. If you find it difficult to tune your violin, this will be for you. <laughs> okay, so. Did you rosin your bow as well? Because it might be time to do it. I know a lot of you will just not rosin their bow if you're anything like me. You will just wait until you really almost don't hear a sound anymore from your bow, and then you really know you have to rosin your bow. At least this is what it's like for me. You just keep keep waiting until you're like, why is there no sound coming from my violin? Oh wait, I didn't rosin my bow for like months. No, I think I think normally I go like one week without rosining my bow. But I play play too often to go to go without rosining for so long. So welcome, Mr. Santa from Italy. Hey Italy, we are learning in Italian song today. And sweet sex from Belgium and Lorene from Canada. So, okay, let's just get started with the piece. I will post the sheet music one other time. And now all have a look at the sheet music and look in the first bar. So we start with the second finger. So we are all going to place our second finger on the D string. And this is a high second finger because we are playing in D major. You can see that in the key signature all the way in the beginning, you will see there's an F sharp in it. If you don't understand that, don't worry. You have to play a high second finger. That's most important. And you will see that little V sign in the beginning. And what does that mean? Does anybody know? Please post in the chat if you know it. What does the V sign above the first note mean? The V sign be above the first note. A lot of new people are joining in. And we are figuring out what is the B sign above the first note in the sheet music. I, I'm not going to share. I know there's somebody in this chat who does know this. But who will be our savior? <laughs> okay, please post it in the chat if you know it. B sign above the notes. Hey, Tito, nice to see you. Oh, yes, it's an up bow. Great. Okay, we can start our song now. Okay, so download the sheet music over here. The first note is an up bow indeed. So let's have a look at the first note. It's an up bow. It's a high second finger. Okay, I think we should all be able to play it now. Let's do it. That was not that hard, right? Okay, let's do it once more. Second finger on the D string. Up bow. One, two, three. If you don't have your violin out by this time, you really have to get your violin because you really want to learn this song. It's a very nice song. 
Okay, so we start with the second finger. And then we play the first finger on the A string. Regular first finger. And then second finger, high second on the A string. So in total we get two, one, two. Okay, let's play this together. One, two, one, two, one, two. Okay, let's do it again. One, two, rest. Two, one, two. Were you playing with up bow? Maybe you weren't taking care of the bow direction, so just start once more in the beginning and play an up bow. Up bow was hands up towards the sky. Okay, let's start. Two, one, two. Okay, did everybody manage? After that, we have third finger on A string and just play along if, if you didn't manage that first piece. Three on A. Can you play that? And then first finger on A. Okay, let's do that. Three on A. One on A. Okay, let's put that together. Second finger on B, up bow. First finger on A, down bow. Second finger on A. Third finger on A. First finger on A. Okay. For those who are ready, play along with me in this tempo. One, two, rest. Two, one, two, three, one. Okay, again, let's do that three times behind the shoulder, in, like we are a loop station. One, two, rest. Please post in the chat. Is this going well or is this very difficult? If it is leaving time at your place, you need a mute not to disturb your neighbors. Maybe I will have to talk to her. It's like half past nine almost in the Netherlands. So please put a mute on your violin. You can also use just clothes specs, you know, the things you use to put your socks on the washing line. You can just put them here on the bridge and then it will also sound much softer. Okay, how does it go so far? Perfect. Can we go to the next? Can we go to the next part? Or should we repeat it? So please write perfect or repeat to let me know if this went well so far. For those who are just dropping in, I hope you are already seeing the sheet music. You can just download it. We are practicing Bella Ciao at the moment from the movie Money Heist or La Papa de, de Casa. <laughs> What is it called in Spanish? Please, Spanish people or like Italian people, please let me know what the, what the movie is called. Okay, next part. Great. A lot of people say perfect. So I'm just going to go with that. So as you see, first and second bar are exactly the same as the third and fourth bar. Do you see that? The same notes. So we are indeed going to repeat that twice. So two, okay, that's too, too soft. Maybe my neighbors will have to deal with it this time. <laughs> but my neighbors are not directly next to me. It will, it does make it better. Okay, two, one, two, three, one. Two, one, two, three, one. So that was the beginning, right? Now let's go to the second line. And the beginning is again quite similar. Do you see? Again, two, one, two, three. Okay, the same, but then we go to two, one, three, two, one. Okay, let's play that together. Three, two, one. High second finger and regular third and first finger. Okay, again. Three, two, one. Okay, let's play it in this rhythm. Three, two, one, three, two, one, one. Two and three, two, one, three, two, one. Okay, now let's play it with a little bit more legato. What does legato mean? Connected, right? So not like. No. Okay, so legato. 
never stop the bow. Always keep going. Okay, again. One, two, and three. Okay, can we connect that to that first part? What was that first little bit in the fifth bar? Two, one, two. Okay, let's try this. Two, one, two. And then we have three, two, one. Okay, let's try if we can connect that. One, two, rest. Two, one, two, three, two, one, three, two, one. Okay, once more. One, two, rest. Okay, I hope that went well. Now let's go to the note after. Do you see that's the first finger on the E string? Is that a high set first finger or a low first finger? Please let me know in the chat. For those who have been really paying attention in the key signatures class, we already did it a few months ago, so if you're new, you probably forgot already. But in the key signatures class, you could have learned first finger on the E string in the eighth bar. Let me know, is that a high first finger or is that a low first finger? And I will just repost the sheet music for those who just dropped in the class. Have a look at the seventh bar. Oh no, eighth bar. Eighth bar, first finger. High first finger or low first finger. You can always guess. There's a 50% chance that you guess correctly. Low or high first finger. Just giving you some time. Hi everybody who's new here. So, was, so just like Juan and Violin Beats, Manuela, Hassan. Hi, yes, Sharon. She just guessed it right, right away. Indeed, it's a high first finger. So how do you know? Have a look at the first, the line of the first finger. Do you see that's the upper line on the note sheet? If you go to the eighth bar, it's all the way at the upper line. So there's no line above that anymore, right? If you go back all the way to the key signature, so if you see the treble clef, that is the, the, the weird sign in the beginning of the bar, just right next to the treble clef, to the right, you see two sharp signs that are those little like, it's almost like a, a little box. And you see two of those boxes. Do you see it? Right after the, the, the fancy G letter. Some people say it looks like a G. I don't really think it looks like a G, but apparently it should have been looking like a G at some point. And then if you look at the first box, so the sharp sign, you see that that sharp sign is exactly around the staff of the first finger. Do you see that? It's right on that staff. And that means you have to play the first finger high. If there goes more into that, of course, learn key signatures. There's a key signatures class on the academy, and we do a note reading course right now. So if you have been, if you want to learn this, join our note reading course on Sundays at UDS Violin Academy. And every second Sunday, we meet together and learn these kind of things. So first thing, there's a high first finger. Okay, to make a long story short, let's play a high first finger. Okay. Place the finger on the string. High first finger is kind of regular first finger, right? We are used to play a high first finger. Low first finger would be closer to the fingerboard. So this one. Okay, can we all play that? One, one. Hope I didn't confuse you too much with this whole talk about the first finger. One, one is really easy. One, one. On the E string again. One. One. Okay, let's see if we can combine that. Second line. Okay, let's try that. One, two, rest. Two, one, two, three. Two, one, eight, three. Two, one, E, one, E, one. Okay, let's go to the third line. I will play it once. Okay, that was the end of the piece. So 
we start with one, one, E, one. Let's play that together. One, two, three, four, and one, one, E, one. Again, two, three, four, and one, one, E, one. One, and two, three, four, and one, one, E, one. Okay. Let's play it a little faster. One, two, three, four. One, one, two, one. One and two and three, four and one, one, two. Okay, how did it go? So now, after that, we are going to play one, one, three, one. Low two, low two. How do we play the low two? Right above the one, right? There's no space between the two notes. Okay. Fairly enough, if you have very small fingers like me, there is a tiny space between the two notes. But if you have larger hands, you don't even have a space between the first finger and the low second finger. So, one, one, e, one. Low two, low two. Let's play it together. One, one, e, one, low two, low two. Or for those who prefer note names, F sharp, F sharp, E, F sharp, G, G. Okay, let's play that a little faster. Again, one, two. One and two and. Loud with legato, one and two and. Okay, let's go to the part after that. So now we are at the 11th bar. Just wrote reposting sheet music for those who are new here. And by the way, at the end, we will go through the questions. So if there's any part that you're like, wow, that was really difficult, please show me again. I will go over it. But now we go to the 11th bar. And there we see again the fancy sign. What is that again? So we already saw it at the beginning, but now I want somebody else to tell me, preferably somebody who didn't know before this class. What does the V sign mean? 11th bar. Let's see if everybody still remembers. If you already know, knew before the class, maybe don't let me know. <laughs> And if you didn't know it before, this is the time to remember. And by the way, if you are a beginner, you don't have to play vibrato at the moment. Just play everything without vibrato. The shaky hands thing that I'm doing, that's called vibrato. Don't worry about it. You only have to place the fingers on the correct faces with finger word stickers. You can find a tutorial on my channel, how to put the finger word stickers on the violin. And then this would be the first finger, second finger, third finger over here, just right on the stickers. It is indeed a bowing sign. Yes, it is an up bow sign. So some of you guessed down bow, some of you guessed up bow, but you were all correct that it is about the bowing. There's an easy way to remember the up and the down bow sign. So I will just write it on a paper really quick for those of you who are kind of new to violin playing and don't know yet. So, wait a second, can we see the paper? So we have an up bow, and you will always see the bowing signs above the note. And the down bow. So here you see the up bow and the down bow. The V sign is the up bow. And then you have the more like half square sign, which is the down bow. So let's have a look at the up bow. Do you see that the V, if you would think of this like the little legs, they go upwards, right? The V is pointing upwards. The, the open part is up. So both of the lines are going up. So it's an up bow. Here, the two lines are going down. Do you see that? The two lines are just going down towards the bottom of the paper. So that's a down bow. So you just remember in which direction do the lines go? Up is up bow, down is down bow. So here in this piece, we only have a down bow. Just reposting the sheet music. Okay, so 
Let's go back to the piece we worked in the eleventh bar, and we are going to start with an up bow because that is the sign that we see above the notes. There's no down bows in this piece actually. So let's see if we could play that. So again, we have a low second finger, and we start with two on the E string, and play along with me. So get your violin right now. Second finger on E, low second. First finger on E. E. Second finger, low second. First finger. Okay, so the rhythm will go like this. Okay, one, two, rest. Two, one, E, two, one. Okay, again, one, two, rest. Two, one, E, two, one. A bit slower again. Two, one, E, two, one. Okay, let's see if we can play it a little faster. One, two, rest. One, two, rest. Okay, let's have a look at the 13th bar. I hope that went well so far. And then we have, again, a bow sign, as you see. One on E. Open E string. Third finger on the A string. Two on A. Do you see, for those of you who practice scales a lot, this is just a little scale downwards, as you see. One. E, three, two. It's not that hard. Okay, let's do it again. That was maybe harder for the beginners to play that fast. One, E, three, two. If you're intermediate, you could play it like this. One, E, three, two. You can try to play it a little faster. Let's try again. One, E, three, two. Let's go to the next note. One. We are right now at bar 14. Three on A. Two on A. Low first finger on the A string. First finger. Okay, let's start at bar 13 again. E1. E, three, two. One, three, two, one. Okay, so now we have learned the whole song and let's try to play it from the beginning. Probably we all forgot the beginning again. But we have to try at least. So let's try and start at the beginning and play it really, really slowly. And we're just going to see how far we will get. Of course, this will, for some of you, this will be easy because you are more intermediate, you are playing for a longer amount of time. For some of you, this will be very difficult because you just started out. So we're just gonna try, no matter which level we are. And for the intermediates, we are just going to play it a little faster in a moment. So let's try it from the beginning in this tempo. <laughs> Of course, you can add 
that's some slice. Try to worse than that. Did you learn how to play the song at least very slowly or does it need some more practice? Do you have any questions? Please let me know. Do you like the song? Let's do that over that end. This is only for the intermediate. So, sit first finger on A, high second on E. Then, second finger on A, high third finger on E. And then we have third finger on A, fourth finger on E. Or play the same in third position. And then you could play, do trimmer for that. So again, I will post the sheet music for those who are new. Okay. So that would be an alternative ending for those who would like to end it a little bit more spectacular. So how did this go? Let me know in the chat. Can you play it? Yeah, I can totally imagine it will be great for improvisation, this piece. If you are going to practice, please, I will practice it. Who is going to join the note reading class because they were aware that it was so difficult to read the notes. You can join us next week on Sunday if the notes were difficult for you. And if this was easy for you, you can join the reading concerto class. Just waiting for the comments. Did anybody learn the song? <laughs> Did everybody just watch me teach? <laughs> and everybody was like, that was fun to watch you try to teach me the song when I didn't even have my violin in my hand. Oh, nice. Okay. Some of you tell me you are playing it. Okay. And Armin is sharing, you can add some expressions like a sad note before the ending. Let's see if we can do that. How does the song end again? I forget all the time. Even though. T, 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 T. Oh!
need to see that a lot of you have tried to learn this song at least. Um, we are doing more tutorials on this channel, so if you're new here, please subscribe to the channel. And if you want to join our game night this Saturday at Julia's Violin Academy at 8 o'clock, we are playing violin games and you might just learn something new as well. Um, it's going to be exciting. Last week we did a group game and it was very, um, how could you say it? <laughs> the groups were like going even, so it was very exciting to see who was winning. And there was a group who won the game by the end, and uh, they had to do a lot of difficult tasks to win, such as knowing Itzhak Perlman's practice routine by heart, and and playing sheet music just from sight reading, and things like that. So you can join that on Saturday evening if you would like to join, 8 o'clock on Zoom, Julia's Violin Academy, and also you can join the Reading Concerto class. If you have seen it today, I've also posted a video on you on Facebook. I will probably repost it on this channel as well. And there we have discussed the reading concerto. Do you know it? It's a really beautiful reading concerto in B minor. How? So we will practice it more on set on Sunday, but just a little preview. <laughs> or those who just wish to learn the concerto and are willing to practice all day on Sunday, five o'clock. Okay, thank you so much everybody for joining. Thank you Brad and Roxana and Michal and Mohammed, Elizabeth, Sweet Sex, Ed. So if you just dropped in, you can watch the recording. Just after I end this stream, you will be able to watch the recording. I will also repost the sheet music just one last time to make sure that everybody has it, even those who dropped in late. And I hope to see you back on my channel for other live streams, violin lessons, everything about learning how to play the violin. The weekend classes are taking place at Julia's Violin Academy. You can find out more about Julia's Violin Academy. Uh, on, and I will show, share the link in the chat as well. For those of you who are not a member, are interested in the lessons we offer there. This is the last link. Or go to juliasvideoacademy.com and find out more about lessons and getting my personal feedback on your playing and much, much more like live lessons that are a bit more personal where we meet on Zoom and where we will just go into more depth. Not just random tutorials, but more like structured courses, step-by-step -step lessons. That's what we do there. We learn with a method which is based upon a combination of methods I really like, like um, the Leopold Hour or Mea Bang method and Suzuki method. Like we use a method that kind of combines a lot of elements from really good violin methods. And she will learn how to play violin step-by-step -step with skills and virtues, exercises and songs. We combine all the elements of a great practice routine and we do it until we get better at it. So a lot of you are members, so you already know what we do. So, yes. So thank you everybody for being here and I hope to see you back either on this channel by watching the new videos that come out every week or by seeing you at Julia's Violin Academy in one of the live classes this weekend or on another class that we will hold in the future. Goodbye everyone.